down and got the groceries. Hey, John, I'm just going to grab myself a quick shower, and I think I'm going to sack out and watch The Late Show. How about you? Hello. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, hi. I, I didn't know he had anybody in, in there. That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, he usually takes the welcome mat and just kind of turns it upside down. It's like a signal. And uh, then I, uh, I I just pop right down to the Y and spend the night there. Uh, yeah, in fact, he, uh, he bought me a, a, a lifetime membership. <laughs> John, I'm about to break a lifetime rule, man. I'm going to punch a lady right in the mouth. Oh, now, come on, relax, old buddy. I just wanted to make sure my disguise would work. Look, what are you doing dressed up in your mommy's clothes? Strictly business. Oh, you're gonna go down to see a draft board? <laughs> it's for my newspaper. I'm doing a, a series for them on uh, women's lip. Oh, I see. Disguised as a woman, you can then penetrate their innermost secrets. Is that it? Right. No, oh, what do you think? Fantastic or not? Huh? With you, nut. You are definitely not the kind of guy that can go walking around town disguised as a woman. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you remember the time you got dressed up like a gorilla so that you could write the article about how it felt to be caged up in the zoo? Yeah, that made a great story. <laughs> yeah, a great story. Except that gorilla Malja, he liked you a lot, you know. Huh. I just gave him a grunt. Apparently, I was a little too provocative for him. <laughs> how do I look, huh? I liked you better in the gorilla suit. I'm gonna go fix my makeup. Do that. I got too much eyeshadow. I think you got too much figure. Well, I thought about that. I said, you know, if you're going to do it, why skimp? It's pretty risky, buddy. If that padding falls, instant man. Uh -huh. But no padding. I uh, got a 38 bra, and I took it down to one of those places that bronze baby shoes. <laughs> uh, you never know. I may start a whole new industry. Would you mind turning it back so I can change my dress? Hey, by the way, old buddy, I, uh... I want you to come along with me. Uh-uh. No way. Oh, come on now. Look, uh, just go over to the Judson Hotel. They're having a woman's lib convention over there. No, oh, we'll go. We'll snoop around. I don't want any part of this game. I need you. I need you. A woman alone attracts too much attention. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you put on those size 38s, right? There's going to be dozens of girls on this job that I'm going to meet, and, uh, they'll all be yours, huh? Okay, okay. You're lying, but, uh, what do I wear? Well, just something casual. Hey, you know... I might even win the Pulitzer Prize for this thing. Want to dance? No, I don't want to dance. Why is it men always hate to dance? <laughs> Thanks. How do I look? You're sagging. Should have the straps bronze, too. Hey. Hey, hey, will you look at that? Wow. Why do you have to look at other girls when you're with me? Because you're not a girl, that's why. Oh, I still think it's cheap. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a blast! Liberate a few women, give them a convention, and we'll show those Shriners a thing or two. Right, honey? Yes, it is a lovely party. It's a smasher! Great chance to get away from the mister. You know what I mean. Well, actually, I'm not married. Well, have a good time here. There's a lot of action. Did you see that guy who came out of the cake? <laughs> Yes, he certainly was built. Like a brick beauty parlor. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Bernice is the name, Secretary's the game. Pleased to meet you. My name is Joan. Joan? Mm -hmm. oh. And this is Kirk. Ah, oh, hello, Kirk. Nice meeting you, buddy. Nice to see you, Bernice. Oh, uh, you can call me B. B. Say, Joni, that's um, quite a good-looking little number you picked up. Hmm. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. I've been trying to score all night, but no luck. Oh, Kirk. Again? Oh. Hey. What is he... What is he doing? He's lighting my cigarette. That's disgusting. This isn't the dark ages. We're free. The chains have been broken. We light our own cigarettes. Did you hear that, you exploiter? Listen, I didn't want to light it in the first place. Ah, that's the way I like to hear you talk. You don't deserve to be a woman. Come on, baby. I'll buy you a drink. Uh, oh, thanks a lot, B. Traitor. <laughs> Hello, angel baby. Mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, well, I, uh... I've been uh, watching you from across the room, and you know something? You're my type. Uh, more than you think. Hey, uh, let's get out of this place. Uh, I've got me a brand new barracuda, and the seat goes all the way back. Uh, no, really, I couldn't. Oh, come on. We can play April 1st. April 1st? Hmm. Fool around? Uh, no, 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 really, I'm waiting for someone. Okay, sweetheart. But you don't know what you're missing. Oh. Neither do you. Would you all mind if I sit here with you just a second, pretend I'm with you? Uh. Oh, of, of course not. Well, that was mighty sweet. I don't believe I've ever seen a girl do that before. Oh. Just, just a little old northern hospitality. Oh. Man trouble, honey? A well, man tried to pick me up at the bar. No. I tell you, a girl just isn't safe out alone these days. Well, he was awfully attractive, but I've heard all those stories about white slavery and all, and I'm just so petrified. Uh, I know. I know. I'll never sleep easy until the police find that midnight strangler. Oh. You mean the one who kills girls in their apartment? Oh. Yes. That's the man who tried to pick me up. Hello, Joni. Mm. Hello. Oh. Do you all know each other? Oh, well, I guess I would know my own sister. Sister? Yes, I'm uh, Kirk Foster, and this is my uh, sister, John. Uh, Joan. Joan. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm Sally Ann Hendricks. And I'm so ashamed the way I acted towards you. Oh, uh, don't be silly. I bet you'll never forgive me. You're forgiven. <laughs> uh, that is, provided we have the next dance together. Oh, my toes are just a twinkling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 sir, are you all right, darling? Mm -hmm. There you are. Take it easy. And I'll tell you what we do. Why don't we have that dance at the Tiki Room, huh? Because they have a much nicer oh, band there. Oh, goody. Goodbye, Joni. Bye. Oh, uh, by the way, Kirk, uh, I forgot to ask. Uh, how's your wife these days, hmm? Well, are you married? Uh, well, I was, see. Uh, coincidentally, the uh, divorce decree becomes final at midnight. So, you see, by the time we see the floor show, you're going to be out with a single man. <laughs> Why, isn't that cute? That's sort of like Cinderella. That's right. <laughs> by the way, Cinderella, who gets custody of the children, or do they just turn into pumpkins, huh? You've got children, too? He's got children six. Six children? Don't worry about it. I'll explain all about it at the tiki room. Oh, well... Well, I guess I might as well. After all, any man who takes out his own sister must be a fine man. He just must be. You see? Oh, uh, before you two kids run off, could you uh, put me in a cab? Yeah, that'll be all right. Oh, and uh, and while you're paying the check, Sally Ann and I'll just run off to the little girl's room. The little girl's room? Yeah, no man's land. <laughs> Yes, it was a great evening, wasn't it? Oh, that was right clever of you, the way you snug us out the side door instead of going into that potter. <laughs> oh, just an old emergency maneuver. <laughs> oh, I did kind of feel bad, though, about leaving your brother waiting for us outside the ladies' room. <laughs> it's a good location. He's bound to meet somebody. <laughs> oh, to tell you the truth, though, I'm just glad I didn't get involved with him, supporting all those children like that. <laughs> oh, well, a girl can't be too careful today. <laughs> the places we went to tonight, I'd never go to alone. Well, no, girls, girls, girls have to travel in pairs. Why, nuns have been doing it for years. 
<laughs> I, um, I hope I don't have too much trouble getting a cab. Listen, why don't you stay here tonight? Oh, that's very sweet of you. I don't want to put you out. Put me out? Why, you wouldn't put me out. Unless, of course, you're one of those girls who doesn't like to share a bed. Well, no, no. I used to share a bed with my three sisters. Oh, no. If one of us got up in the middle of the night, uh, she had to leave a bookmark. <laughs> oh, then it's settled. Well, I want to warn you, though. You're not going to get a wink of sleep all night. Uh, I am going to talk your head off. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I don't think I can wiggle into this. Oh, come on now. You're not all that big. No, but my wiggle is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look at this thing. It's awful naughty. You can see right through it. Yes, it, it ought to come with a matching set of Venetian blinds. <laughs> know about men and clothes and everything, don't you? Well, say, Sally Ann, uh, do you like surprises? Is it real exciting? It all depends on certain things, like, um, do you have a boyfriend? You know, I got about a million balls back home, but I just don't like the men up here. They either come on too strong or they're just so effeminate. Feminine? You know, you can't even tell some of them from a girl. Which is a bride? Well, we really ought to get to know each other real well before I can tell you this surprise. Listen, I know you just as well this very minute as I'm going to know you ten years from now. <laughs> no, no, that's not really true. I mean, there are a lot of things that you don't know about me. Whatever it is, it can't be important. <laughs> uh, Sally Ann, you know, I'm, uh, I'm having some trouble with my roommate. Uh, how would you like us to be roommates? You mean share this apartment with you? Mm hmm Well, I just love that. You would. Uh, could I move in tonight? Tonight? Well, why not? Well, you know, my, my rent just happens to expire at midnight. I'll go get my suitcase and be right back. Oh, I can't wait. Just get out of the little girl's room? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. There was this lady ahead of us. What are you doing with the suitcase? Uh, just uh, packing my samples. I'm going to be an Avon lady. And uh, where's Sally Ann? Who? Sally Ann, you know who. Listen, Kirk, I think I'm in love with this girl. Well, I love her too, but I'm a man. You're a woman. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell her the truth. Oh? When? Well, tonight, tomorrow, soon. Tonight, tomorrow? What, what are you talking about? Well, I'm... Uh, I'm on my way back. Uh, I'm moving in with her. We're going to be roomies. Well, wait a minute. You can't do that. She's my girl. I saw her first. I spoke to her. She likes me better. As a girl. She likes you because she thinks you're a girl. So? So what happens when she finds out you're not a girl? Huh. A lot. All good. Man, she's going to hate you. I'm going to live with her. I'm going to study her moves, her emotions. I'll know just when to spring my little surprise. And in the meantime, sleep fully clothed. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, no. You see, I have my little granny, my floor-to-ceiling nighty. You know, they say the concealment is much more alluring than nudity. I think I'll get my coat now. You <laughs> sure will. <laughs> and uh, if you get lonely, I'll send you to Gorilla. Hey, come on, let me out. Hey, my roommate is waiting. Don't worry, Joni. I'll see Sally Ann in the morning and I'll tell her everything. I promise you. From now on, you can have every girl. And if you're a real good little girl, we might even let you come to the wedding. Oh, Sam. Hiya, Sarge. Come on in. Where were you when I needed you? Why, you got a lead? Well, maybe so. 
I've been hitting all the bars in town. Figuring the midnight strangler might pick up a good-looking babe like you, huh? Very funny. Mm, I met this guy tonight dressed like a girl. Think maybe that's how he gets into their apartments. Disguised as a girl, of course. And you think he's the strangler? No, soon enough. He'll be back in about a half hour. I'll hide in there and make the arrest. I hope it's him. I'll be so glad to get rid of these things. <laughs> Have a smoke, Sarge. I just wanted to tell you, next time you lock a lady in the closet, make sure she doesn't have a hairpin. I don't even dance, Jay. I'm off for one of the most exciting evenings of my life. Honey, black is beautiful, but this is ridiculous. Now, honey. 